Hello and welcome to One North Main, Brockton's magazine show where we profile people, places, and events that make this city, our city, great. Graduation season has come to an end. However, Brockton Community Access and the One North Main crew were there to cover three special graduations. Count them three. We had the Brockton High School graduation right here at Marciano Stadium. We were also on the other side of town where we covered the Cardinal Spellman High School graduation. And then finally, went outside our borders to cover the Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School graduation in Easton. More than 60% of the student body is from Brockton. So three graduations, three grand old times. I want you to sit back, relax, and see what your community, the City of Champions, has to offer. <laughs> to Boxa country. Specifically, we are on the campus of Brockton High School, Marciano Stadium, Armand Colombo Field. What happens there every year in June? Hmm. Only the greatest graduation you'll ever be part of or ever watch. It's the Brockton High graduation. In 2018, outdid them all. We had a great time covering the event. Want you to check it out. Good afternoon. What a glorious day. I don't have to give you uh, directions about in case it rains. Take a moment everyone, look around you, graduates especially, take a moment to take this, uh, this in because this is something that you want to remember for the rest of your lives. successes that you have created for yourselves and each other transcend academics. These successes have reached out and touched the rest of our school community and the City of Champions as well. 
You have enjoyed incredible halftime shows at our football games, pep rallies through the cafeteria, at the same time competing, competing in events like the music festival in Washington DC and winning, students playing in all the state music festivals, countless individual and group awards, six students in the Eastern Honors Corps in Pittsburgh, plus the amazing Christmas concert and the musical 9 to 5. Congratulations, class of 2018. It's hard to believe that our graduation day is finally here. Many of us have spent the last four years saying, I can't wait to graduate, and now it's finally here, and if you're anything like me, you can't believe it. The time has seriously flown by. My favorite English teacher from, Mr., uh, from VHS is Mr. Gormley. He's also graduating this year, uh, but he's going to retirement, not college. He told me I needed to get better at focusing when I write. So today my speech is focused on change. When we got to VHS, we were all different. Some of us were mouthy freshmen who made bad decisions all the time, who took it or who changed over the four years. I was one of those kids, but by last year I took inspiration from my 89-year-old grandmother, Alice Marion, who graduated from Brockton High in 1947 and by 1951 opened up her own bridal shop in downtown Brockton. She inspired me to run for class president and I'm so glad that I did because it changed me from being that short, loud mouth kid to the short, responsible young man I am today. You can always accomplish more if you remember your roots. Good luck to all of you. I am proud of each and every one of you. I love you all. Good luck in all you do in life. Congratulations, class of 2018. To the class of 2018. We did it. We made it through the endless nights of last minute studying, essay writing, and projects we kept putting off. We made it through the countless hours of training and practice for the many games and meets. We made it through weeks of theater and performance rehearsals, and even through the tight, stuffy core hallways to get to class every day in the four minutes given to us. None of this would have been possible without the help of our supportive friends and family, inspiring teachers, coaches, mentors, and directors here at BHS and welcome to all of the friends, family, grandparents, everyone that is here today to uh, help us celebrate this occasion. It is certainly an honor for me to join all of you as we see you off to embark on the next stage of your lives. This is my fifth graduation now as mayor, ninth as a member of the school committee, and uh, it never gets old. This is absolutely one of my favorite days of the year and it reminds us of why we do the work that we do. And it's important for the graduates to know that we are all incredibly proud of you and your accomplishments as you prepare to move on. Brockton is a city of opportunity and as a city we have a commitment to prepare you for success. Civil rights leader Malcolm X once said, quote, Education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. To our graduates, you are prepared for tomorrow. Your education is the key that unlocks the door of opportunity. And remember, it means something to be a Brockton boxer. Be proud and carry that with you as you go forward. I'd like to just share some final thoughts with you that were written by Alan Alda. He wrote, quote, you have to leave the city of your comfort and go into the wilderness of your intuition. You can't get there by bus, only by hard work and risk and by not quite knowing what you're doing. What you'll discover will be wonderful, for what you'll discover will be yourself. Congratulations, class of 2018. Good afternoon. Mayor Carpenter, school committee, elected officials, parents and families, special guests, teachers and staff, and our graduating class of 2018. There are almost a thousand graduates on the field here today. 
that represent Brockton High School, Champion High School, Frederick Douglass Academy, and Huntington School. Every one of you is a success story, and everyone here is very proud of your accomplishments. During this past year, the voices of high school students have risen up across this country with the entire nation taking notice. You are a part of this movement. Young adults willing to work hard, share your talents, volunteer for the good of others, and all for worthy causes. We have witnessed your accomplishments on the athletic fields, in the arts, drama, in the field of music. You are here today because you have distinguished yourself as a scholar worthy of receiving your hard-earned high school diploma. I also know the future of this great nation will be in the hands of a new generation who will advocate with a fierce passion for those ideals they believe in that are fair to all and allow us to believe again that goodwill, compassion, and empathy will strengthen our families and communities all around the world. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars to the perilous fight on the ramparts we the top of Court Street on the campus of Cardinal Spelman High School. The class of 2018 had an uplifting ceremony and we were there for all the action. Let's take a look. On Tuesday night at the Senior Awards, we celebrated your individual accomplishments and achievements. But tonight, we celebrate your collective successes and the legacy as a class. And we acknowledge and we thank you for all that you have given us to make Spelman a better school. So I have a question for you. What do you think, what do people think of when they think of Spelman? Of course, I think they think of our amazing masses, our award-winning track team, the one without a track. Yep. Our Broadway quality musicals, our cookies, and above all, our incredible teachers, some who have de dedicated their entire professional careers to teaching at Spelman. People like Senora Perry, 37 years. <laughs> Mr. Malo, 38 years. Mrs. Davis, 39 years. <laughs> Miss Marble, bittersweet, in her final year with us, 41 years. <laughs> and Miss Connors, drum roll please, <laughs> 49 years at Cardinal Spellman. <laughs> Pretty amazing. But even more than any of these distinguishing characteristics, the truth is, when people think of Spelman, I suspect they often think about... 
our t-shirts. And it is lived out in a very real, tangible way through our service programs and purposeful miss missions to places like West Virginia through ASP and our trips to Nicaragua and Jamaica most recently. The miracle of these trips, of course, is not the travel or even the outreach that takes place, but the profound transformation that occurs inside. Lives are changed here because God is invited in, and the result is the joy story. Who's got that one? Way up, Felix. That's a big one. And we are all part of God's family. Sure, our t-shirts are cool, but it's really about you, the people who wear the t-shirts with a sense of pride and belonging. We are a sum of our parts. Taken on a journey into my own mind, and when I snap back to reality, I have to fake my way back into the conversation. It usually ends with me coming up with seemingly random questions about the wonderland that I was in after falling down some rabbit hole. After one of my most recent brain expeditions, I came to an interesting thought, that making decisions is both the best and worst part about being human. In one way, decisions can be exciting, such as choosing which college to attend, and yet, on the other hand, as many of you know, it can turn into a burden rather than a privilege, as deadlines are suddenly tomorrow when yesterday they were months away. We're closing the doors on this chapter of our lives, and there's no way of telling what the next four years may bring. Just four years ago, we were in the exact same place, not knowing what to expect from this school. I know that if you told me four years ago that I would be speaking to my class at graduation, I wouldn't have believed you. Although graduation marks a new beginning, it is also a symbol of the end. And not to be a downer, but how can you not feel a sense of loss after being a part of such a close community for the past four years? A community where everyone's birthday is recognized, where everyone knows each other's names, and where we were able to share in both the triumphs and struggles of those in the community. For most, if not all of us, we won't be in classes with our best friends next year. We're going to miss the familiar faces we've passed in the halls every day, and we'll lament not working with the teachers who have guided us so well. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to first congratulate my fellow graduates here today. I know how eager we all are to get out of here, especially now that we have our diplomas in our hand. So we'll try to make this as quick and poignant as possible. Today, I'd really like to center this speech around you around this incredible group that is the class of 2018, a group that I will forever be grateful to be a part of and to call my friends. Class of 2018, it is a special honor to be here tonight to present you to the community as the graduating class of Cardinal Spellman High School. I wish you all the best of God's blessings as we send you out into the world. I pray that as you go forward on your journey, your actions and your words or some way you have of being with people will touch those that you encounter with the love of God that shines through you. Wherever you go, whatever you do, have faith in God and know that you will never walk alone. God bless you all. <laughs> President Hodes, Principal Kelly, Chair of the Board, Trustees, Ms. Mahoney. As assistant principal, it's my duty and my privilege to present to you the members of the class of 2018 of Cardinal Spellman High School. I'm gonna need the help of the seniors, and I'm gonna need the help of Deacon Joe. Deacon Joe, would you please stand? I know, we're asking a lot. Seniors, would you please stand? Deacon, do your thing. Wow, what a great graduation. Cardinal Spellman, the Cardinal family always does it right. Now, we're gonna kick it over to Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School 
in Easton. We cover their graduation every year. This year, simply amazing. We had students graduating that received accolades. Some are going into trade schools, while others, not surprising to us, but maybe to you, are going off to college. Yes, their academic program is outstanding. Almost as outstanding as their graduation. Let's check it out. Good evening. I'm Superintendent Lou Lopes, and I want to welcome everyone to our class of 2018 high school graduation. And now join me in welcoming the Southeastern class of 2018. Good evening. My name is Dave Deegan, and I am proud and honored to say that I am the principal of Southeastern. <laughs> On the behalf of the administration, students, and staff, I'd like to welcome all of you to tonight's graduation ceremony. Tonight we are dedicating our moment of silence to one of our own, Daniela Perez, who we tragically lost two years ago. I would ask everyone to please bow our heads in honor of Daniela and to reflect upon the people in your lives and the ones we have lost, a moment of silence. Now if you could please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Because we've been proactive instead of reactive, striving instead of static, and inclusive of all who want to learn, today Southeastern boasts our largest student population ever, and I am proud to say that today we will be awarding diplomas to 326 students, our largest graduating class in our 50-year history. Yeah. I'd also like to introduce the school committee and the towns they represent quickly. If uh, each person would stand up. I'm not sure if Colleen is here. I don't think she was able to make it. But Colleen Maloney represents West Bridgewater. Robin Zoll represents Stoughton. Mindy Kempner represents the great town of Sharon. Joseph Joe Dutcher, East Bridgewater. Dennis Feely from Norton. Yeah, let your town have it, that's good. Mark Lindy from Brockton. All right. Tony Branch from Brockton. Mr. William Bill Flannery from Mansfield. Mike Petrowski from Easton. For our last speaker of the evening, it's my honor and pleasure to introduce your valedictorian, Margaret Nissender. My fellow classmates, this is it. This is the moment in which we can look around at all of our friends in their caps and gowns and at all of our families and teachers looking on with proud eyes and say we've made it. We've made it all the way through. <laughs> and now, the graduates from Advertising and Design, your valedictorian, Margaret Elizabeth Nistender.
Matthew Kyle Anderson. Salvatore Angelo Munafo. Michael John O'Neill. Michael John O'Neill. Chris John Lopes. Kiernan Michael McKay. Byron William Shoemaker. Melody Tong. Tyler Patrick Doherty. Marco Charles Duquette. Jacob Alexander Glennon Walsh. Lauren Elizabeth Kent. Jenny Layla Toussaint. And now the graduates from Legal and Protective Services, Jaden Joseph Andre. Vasana Marquez. Dulce Oresti. <laughs> Jacob Daniel Rodenbush. Julianne Olivia Taylor. Graduates, please take your tassel and move it from the right side to the left side of your cap. It's my honor and pleasure to certify you as graduates of the Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School. Thank you, good night. Have a product and another one North Main in the books. Thanks for watching. Three great graduations. We hope you enjoyed the highlights. Congratulations to all of the graduates for the class of 2018. To learn more about Brockton Community Access, please visit our website at bcatv.org. You can also check out our YouTube page, youtube.com backslash the Brockton channels, all one word. For executive producer Mark Lindy and producer Aaron Timbo, I'm Jay Miller. We'll see you graduates around town. <laughs>